What's happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back with more Lords of the Fallen. So, of course, Harkin's getting a little uppity smack and stuff, but as you can see, we did a little bit of leveling up, and we can now use Persistence. Um, after spending the XP, which you might have remembered, I was about 300 short of being able to get the 15 strength threshold, so went back, killed a couple of those dudes real fast, and uh, yeah, we're all set. So, Persistence! We are officially super badass. Now, it's time to continue. Um, over this way. Hmm. There was something over here. Oh, maybe not. So either way, we put all those points into strength. We're going to start working up, um endurance next so that we can biatch see that's why i picked up persistence this thing is disgusting it's so powerful soon after banishing the god the three men that were known as the judges parted ways forever apart from their common goal they were very different in every possible way three statues were built for them on the square of the judges displaying the distinct paths they had taken these statues hold a secret as if it were their heart, but it is retained by the stone. Only the shard of heroes could make that heart beat, and only an unearthly force could tear it out. Get down. It's like if you guys want a, a much harder playthrough, starting off with daggers definitely is a uh, pretty big difference. Daggers are, are no walk in the park since it's all about very precise attacks, even if... I mean, you can combo the daggers together to do some brutal, brutal attacks. But, um... You know, it takes... Like, one... <clears throat> you can't really afford to get hit at all because you're in medium armor. So, you got that going against you. But, uh, also... You know, I feel like you just don't... You don't pack as much of a wallop. The idea is you got very fast attacks, but they do less damage, obviously. And, I mean, at heart, I'm, I'm a Berserk fan, you know? So, ha! Completely whiffed your own attack, asshole. But, you know, being being as I'm a huge fan of, like, Berserk and massive swords, like, stand against such forces much at the longer. end of the day, I'm a great sword kind of player. Hide. That's all it comes a down to. With wolves and soldiers, mighty antennas. I mean, I might very well we do, um... Please play like a staff or, or dagger playthrough, or we'll probably switch around to a bunch of the weapons for the drunk through, but for the purpose of the walkthrough, we are totally, totally rocking out with our great sword. Now I'm gonna try something here. Try to figure out how to get to that. Maybe I jump right here. Hell yeah. What is it? Northern Monastery Wing Door Key. Huh. I missed that back in the the demo, so I'm curious to see what exactly what that door is that what it unlocks. Exactly were the lords. Bitches! They fought fiercely. They blindly followed the god. Anyone who tried to talk to them, reason with them, they true god's fashion. The lords did not come for discussion. But I did fuck up. I wanted to go. Um, Lead the Rogar army against the Not that. Trying to remember how to do the. Trying to remember how to do my jump attack. I think it's forward and uh, R2. Is it just sprinting in L2? No. How do I do my running attack? I can't figure it out. There we go. So while you're holding A, you gotta hold A and then hit R2. That's what I was trying to do right there. I wanted to. Just like do a flying cleave across those guys. Figure that'd be pretty sweet. Each boss fight can be won in a special way. You will know by having unique loot. Cool. Huh. I didn't know that. That's really cool. So I wonder if, like, depending on how you beat the boss, it determines if you get, like, a legendary weapon from him or an epic weapon, whatever it is. I just beat the shit out of him. Out in the monastery courtyard. 
So even though we don't really need it, we are going to uh, we're going to activate the checkpoint just because you know we're outside. It's a good spot to activate it. Yeah, running cleave, bitches. Yeah, get fucking Shrek. So I love having heavy armor too, because otherwise. Man, these guys would be tearing me apart. Oh. You think you can back up and avoid my strikes? Damn. Get off of me, bro. Down you go. Actually, I think... I don't think that checkpoint reset my... Uh, reset my counters. Oh! Down here. When I was playing with the daggers, those guys were freaking brutal. Um, okay, so we're gonna pull the lever here. The heavy armor set. So I found out too, um, how I mentioned that, like I couldn't figure out where the armor effects were listed. So you just kinda have to, you know, you put on a full set of armor and you notice that something's different and that's how you figure it out. I got full stamina. You got no chance. Full energy, I should say. Definitely got to get my endurance up, though. Don't really want to fat roll my way through the game, but... For the time being, we're only uh, almost up to the second board, so we can manage it for now. We're going to talk to him in just a second after we make our way down here. Break everything I see. You guys cannot beat my greatsword. It's gonna be sad when I finally have to get rid of this, because it is just so beastly. It just slices through everything. This is what we want. Hell yeah. Symmetry set. So this is basically, if you're playing like a, a two-handed playthrough, this is what you want to get at the start, because the symmetry set has a hidden two-handed damage bonus modifier on it. Definitely worth picking up, but with the weight, <clears throat> we're going to have to take off our shield. And even then, we are at the weight threshold, pretty much. So, let's uh, talk to dude. You... Help me, please! What happened to your hand? Spider venom. It burns like Adir himself touched it. Rip the wound and suck the poison out. Too late. It already spread. There's only one way to stop the venom. Separate the poisoned limb from the body. You want me to cut my arm off? You're a madman. You'll see the judges soon then. I can't. I won't. It's in your hands. I'll do it. All right. On your head be it. Thank you. I owe my life to you, stranger. Wait. You're not one of the monastics. The markings on your face. A gift from the court. A reminder of my sins. Please, put the axe down now. <laughs> I hate this dude. It's like, ah. Uh, once he realizes you're a criminal, he's like, ah, oh, put it down, please. You, up. you won't hold long in this state. I am the healer monk here. And yes, I see the irony of the situation. You must have supplies. I do. They're in the laboratory, but the place is full of Rogar beasts. It's no use. I won't make it there in this condition. Oh, how 
give him the Here, potion. Take this one. Thank you. If we both survive to see the Keystone Citadel, I hope our paths cross again. So obviously since we got both gates, we could go straight across, which I'm going to go wreck that guy real fast. And then we're going to take the under route and grab some stuff. So just to show you guys what I was talking about earlier, <coughs> with no helmet, Come on, man. I'm trying to demonstrate something here. Ow, you asshole. Okay. 58 damage on the hit. Come on. Stop that. Now we put back on the helm. If we don't die like an asshole. Shit, we got a backstab on him. That's not what I was looking for. Screw it, we'll just use one of our potions. Well, either way, you'll see the next thing we fight. Uh, damage is higher than 58. I'm trying to show you guys the, the damage increase with the full armor. Actually, we can use... There's two guys here we could use. First one, come forward. 94. Now let's take it off. Let's see what we're hitting on this guy. Actually, these guys don't have enough health to even survive one hit, so it might not matter. Yeah, 82. So Another thing, after doing that quest with that guy, you actually got really good axe right here. Butcher. Decent damage, and it's one-handed, so, uh, you know, for the, the weight of it, for the energy cost of it. Really, really good weapon. Obviously, we're running the greatsword, so it's not like it's really a concern. But something to keep in mind. Little spider dingies up here. Shit. Little fucker. Finding runes left and right. Runes, energy shards, all kinds of goodies. Hot to blood. I break everything. Fuck this barrel. So, of course, we could have just cut straight across, but. I don't want to let anything get by. This is just, that's the path up there. Can't wreck. I'm almost at a uh, max XP bonus too. The XP bonus you get maxes out at 1.5, I believe. So you're getting pretty close to. Anybody here? I thought there was a dude in this room. Maybe he's downstairs. He's downstairs. Sure. No hidden goodies. <sighs> Backstab those guys every time I get the chance to. Absolutely despise them. Ninth night on watch. How could the Rukar get inside the sacred walls of Keystone? They appeared out of nowhere. The graveyard is swarming with them. I need to alert the others. Big money. Alright, this is a rune chest. Let's 
Let's open her up, see what we get. A live armor helm. Live armor. A bunch of live armor stuff. And we got an attribute. So actually, let me... Let's put that on. <clears throat> um... Fucking awesome kite shield we found. Brings back your ghost and stored XP immediately. Fire resistance, magic resistance. Yes. Darts. Max equipment burden. So we get plus two to it. Strength, we get plus one. I feel like I might still be better off going strength. But, um, I mean, more energy is going to be helpful, too, so I'll level that up. It's luck. Luck to get better rewards for killing opponents. Well, we'll focus on endurance for now. <clears throat> Even though I don't have a shield on at the moment, I would like to get high enough to where I can use a shield again. Damn it, I was hoping the key I found would have uh, unlocked that. Remember which way... So brings us out to the dude we killed earlier. Yes, there's the pathway. Okay. Hang on a second here, then. Where's that locked door at? I think I access it from uh, down below. We got a shard coming up in a bit. Once we make over to that shard, it'll be good. This gate up. This is right here. This is where we went down to fight that dude. Yeah. Okay. Open up that path, and we got our gauntlet. Now we can do magical pew pew beams. He's like, fuck it, this looks cool. I'll use it. As if one wasn't enough. Nope. And you're dead. love that I've managed to figure out the timing on those guys to where I can consistently just take them out like that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're not going to be a threat. You done fucked up now. <laughs> Boom. Ah! There goes your face. I am 1.52. I thought 1.5 was the uh, XP bonus cap. Getting higher than that, though. Cut Where scene. is it? Where is what? Back off! This doesn't concern you. Fuck him. Don't mind me then. <laughs> what was that about? They're liars, and worse besides, not only did they steal my family valuables, but they've hidden the pathway. Pathway. A door to places otherwise unreachable. Places that hold secrets, and secrets hold power. I was on my way there when the Rogar appeared out of nowhere. Why are you so sure it's still here? It's in the Book of Lineage, and the book does not lie. You sure those friars stole from you? I've always taken them for bookworms, not lifters. Don't be a fool. The men in here are just as twisted and corrupt as the people outside. I bet Antanas, this savior, allows it. They've bled the villagers dry over the years. They think people forget that the truth gets buried with the bodies they helped create. But they're wrong. I know what they did. 
This is a monastery. No women allowed. No criminals allowed either, but here you are. If it's to be an inquisition, tell me about that constellation on your ugly face. Ah, uh, I thought not. Let's both keep our secrets. She totally wants the D. I must go. Suit yourself. 20 bucks says we bang later. Either way, guys, we have made it to the shard. Um, of course, there is a boss through that door, but before we go on and take the second lord, there is a whole secondary section of the zone we're going to go take on. So make sure to stay tuned. Catch you guys next time with more Lords of the Fallen.